The value V of a long-term investment may be modelled as a continuous variable. So at time t years, the rate of increase of V is directly proportional to the value of V. So dV by dt, so the value as it um, changes with respect to time, is proportional to V. So then, of course, you can bring in an equal sign as long as you put a k there. Okay. So we've got. I'm going to show this. Okay. Um, so that v is a e to the kt, where a and k are constants. So they separate the variables. Okay. Um, so I've answered a there. I'm on to v now. If I separate the variables, so I'll have dv by v. If I take the v over and divide, equals to then k dt. Now that's like one over v, isn't it? So you get ln v, and then k is a constant, so it becomes kt plus c. Now. Um, we then need to work out the um, constant, okay? Um, in terms of in terms of getting what we we've um, got here, because it says v equals a to the kt, and we're going to see now. Well, how on earth are we going to go from here to there? Because the, there's no real c conditions here. They don't say at the start, okay? They don't say anything what the the value is, right? But what we can do is with this logarithm we could take it over the other side couldn't we if i take it over the other side do the inverse the opposite okay so take the ln over and we end up eing that side so this will become e to the kt plus c all right what's good about that is right then i've got e to this power here where we've got terms that are adding and when terms that are adding we could actually split them up and say like this is the same as e to the kt times e to the c because that's like using rules of indices isn't it whereby when you're times in terms you're adding the powers we're doing the reverse process now e to the c is just a constant yeah because c is a constant so e to the c will be a constant so i can say this is the same as okay where a equals e to the c so i'm introducing a because they are using a and it's a constant so you're allowed to do that because they said they said it's a constant, so I'm now introducing it and saying, look, let's just let a equals this e to the c. So therefore v equals a e to the kt. Part c then it says the value of the investment over two years is two hundred and ninety-two pounds, and then after twenty-eight years is six hundred and thirty-seven. So what I'd want you to do is put these values in. So after two years, so v is two. Um no, sorry. The, the value is rub that out. Value is two hundred and ninety-two here, yeah, when t is two. Okay. Um, and the value will be um six hundred and thirty-seven when t is twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah, by putting it in there when t is twenty-eight, the value is six hundred and thirty-seven. Now, um, it's better to write them. On top of each other okay in this case two, and obviously we want to put the number first here as well so if i if i if i write um 637 equals a e to the 28k because it makes more sense doesn't it putting the number first and 292 equals a e to the 2k now I've written like this so that the bigger power is on the top and what i want you to do then is i want you to say like one divided by two because if we do that Okay, we'll have 637 divided by 292 and a e to the 28k divided by a e to the 2k. And the a's will cancel and then you've got e on the top, e on the bottom and we can use rules of indices here. Okay, so in other words, it'll be e to the 28 take away, 28k take away 2k, so you get 26k. We take away using rules of indices. So then I'll take the E over and do LN. And to get K, I've just got to do LN 637 over 292. I get my answer. Okay, don't forget then to cross the divide by 26 as well. So I get 0 0.03, okay, and there's lots of zeros after it. So I've got, I've done, I've shown that that's true, and then it says find the value of a to the nearest integer. So I just need then to sub that into either one of these, okay? So um, a then will equal. So if I just say sub into one. Okay. 
Okay, so then A will just equal 637 divided by E to the power 28 times 0 0.03. So I get 274.999, which of course that would be 275 to the nearest whole integer. Find then um, the initial value of the investment. So basically, I've now got V equals 2, but I know A is 275, and I know K is 0 0.03. So the initial value of the investment is when T is 0. Okay, now of course when T is 0, this is going to be 0, isn't it? I'll have 275e to the power 0. We know e to the power 0 is just 1, so it'll be 275 pounds, okay, which is basically what a was, isn't it? To the nearest pound. 